How's it going, friends and family of the internet? Welcome to the Real AF TV podcast, the show about fishing and random takes from the land of 10,000 lakes. I'm one of your hosts, Josh Labah. And I am Tim Wagner, the other host. Tim, two years, two years. Can you believe it? Two years, two hosts, two beers. Yeah, yep. I can believe it. Cheers to two years, man. Cheers. Holy shit. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I, I mean, can't, I, I can believe it, but it doesn't feel like it's been two years. Yes. It's That's crazy. exactly what I was going to say. You're yeah. 100% right on. Is It just doesn't feel like two years. <laughs> Dude. It's just nuts. It's like I've been doing a podcast for half of my child's life. Yeah. You have been doing one for more than that. Yeah. Of your child's life. That's yeah. weird to think about. It's so fucking weird <laughs> to think about, dude. I'm still going to number this one, episode 48. It's going to feel a little bit different if you're a regular listener. If you're a new listener, thank you for coming. Please share with a friend because however you found us, share that method with a friend. It would be great. And check out the YouTube channel. You might have found us on the YouTube channel because that crappy spawn video that we put out at the scrap crappy spawnish time here in Minnesota yep. videos yep. doing pretty well. So you might've found us and thanks for listening to the podcast and watching the video and watching the videos. Also happy 4th of July, happy independence day, That's whatever you right. want to call it. That's right. Shit, it's yeah. On the 4th of July, huh? It's the 4th That's of July right now. It is the 4th of July right now. If you're listening happy birthday, to this, birthday, America. That's right. Happy birthday, America. Happy anniversary real af tv podcast i'll yeah. drink to the happy birthday america happy birthday i hope you out there are listening on a nice relaxing hot ass summer day i hope you're on the lake someplace yes yeah. so, toasting america's birthday with us while we yeah. take a break every 30 seconds to drink <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna do we're gonna do no ads, but we're gonna shoot shout out to Patreon, patreon.com slash real AFTV. Remember, real like right. fish and real. That's how you can directly support the podcast. I'm gonna still get that out there. Again, right. thank you if you are listening for the first time. And if you are with somebody who is a regular listener and you're listening for the first time, I hope that we grab your attention. We are gonna do a little bit of a different situation here because we are typically uh every other Monday podcast where we do fishing in the front half and a random take in the back half so we don't just seem like these fishing goofs. We want to get you a little bit more involved in what we're doing over here. And we are going to do that, but we're going to kind of do it in this anniversary special sort of episode review kind of thing. Yeah. So I just want to say, if you have feedback, if you're a first-time listener, especially reallyf.tv, slash contact remember real like fish and real real af.tv slash contact give us feedback let us know that you're hanging out on the fourth of july and just having a good old time we might shout it out on the next podcast uh, we right. typically kick off with some quick fishing news i do have some quick fishing news but before i jump into that i just want to make sure i didn't step on tim's opportunity to talk about specifically the fourth of july our anniversary Anything you wanted to throw in there real quick for these first-time listeners in the front part? Mm, you know, thanks. If you are first-time listeners and you're here, thanks for listening. Anybody that's been around for a while, we appreciate you sticking around. Yeah, yeah. I think you pretty well covered it, you know? All right. We Good. like fishing and bullshitting about whatever we feel like bullshitting about, you know? <laughs> We can talk. We can talk. We originally started this podcast. You know what? I'm going to stop myself there. We're going to get into that. <laughs> All right. Let's do the fishing news, Tim. Let's do, Let's do the it. fishing news. So Where's I got that? a quick one. I got a quick one. And then we'll get into the podcast because right. I got a local Fox Channel 9 news. I got a local local news down here in the Twin Cities area. Channel 9. This is the Fox News channel here. 11 year old girl bear hugs a 45 pound carp. 
an 11 year old girl so she's probably not much heavier than that car <laughs> That's, it, it pretty much said that it was like i don't know it's probably around you know she just she's a little bit heavier than that car yeah <laughs> i was right. like holy shit she's probably like 70 70 pounds <laughs> right car, that's a big car bear hugs yeah. it huh you know they're not as slimy as some of the other fish are so if well, you hug a fish yeah they, i think they get I, slimy i though. for sure all the fish have slime it's right. like it's just something that comes with it but like if right. i would have heard you know girl hugs giant northern i instantly would have reeled back like oh right gross <laughs> burn all those clothes <laughs> they probably washes out i don't know I, right, mean, right. I, I don't seem to have the fish stink on my clothes after going fishing but the northern right. stink right. carps stink bad it's a lot of people think carps smell bad because people leave them in the rocks yeah and that's die. just dead fish in the heat like that's different <laughs> right totally different smell that yeah. is not fish slime <laughs> right there's <laughs> much more yeah, dead fish in the heat gets gnarly quick. <laughs> you, like you could fillet a fish and put some of the remains in the garbage can, and the next day you're just like, oh, my God. Oh, I got a, two weeks later, a little bit of like whatever's left around is still smelling, and the flies are still swarming it. There's nothing in your garbage can. It's just like, oh, my God, I, I need to like triple bag that next time so I get nothing <laughs> in this can. Yeah, dude. Oh, woofed. Yep. <laughs> but so what's the deal? Did she catch that carp or so, she's just hugging a carp? Yeah, yeah. So I of course I do the I do that sort of clickbaity headline thing here at the beginning. Yeah. Uh but the truth of it is is that there was this uh eleven year old girl, the Frise family from St. Michael, Minnesota. They're up in the central ish, little bit northern city area, right? Yeah. And uh Maddie has been a big fisher, I guess. Yeah. Since they moved here in uh, 2020. They've okay. so yeah, they've been here for two years. They came from uh the Pacific Northwest area, it said. And okay. she's been really into fishing. And they were swimming in the shallow areas of uh they were cleansing themselves in the waters of Lake Minnetonka in the shallows. Uh, yeah. Purify yourselves in a lot of water. I screwed it up. Purify that's, yourselves in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> it throws some pancakes. <laughs> Game. Yes. Louses. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Okay. But so, so the real like like the the straight truth story is that she was in the shallows. Her and her family just went out to some shallow water in Lake Minnetonka. She saw it. She dove in, grabbed it. Yeah. It got away. Okay. And then it was still hanging out. Crazy fucking fish or just dumb. Like, you know, Dude, fish are dumb. Yeah. Dove in again, man. And she went in for the full bear hug because the, la the last time she had just grabbed it by the tail and it got away. Yeah. And then and boom, she just fucking jumped in. Full on bear hug that son bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And she got it. She picked it up out of the water. They let she it go. She picked it up. She had it. The photo dude was right. Like, okay. So the photo was this like her damn near the shore because you can tell that whoever is taking the photo is on shore. Yeah. And she's yeah. just got this thing in a full on bear hug walking it towards the shore and they estimated it to be about 45 pounds just because it was like near her size damn dude. <laughs> so her mom was just like that's, that's probably like 45 pounds that's crazy yeah dude could you imagine being the parents she just like i got one and you're like okay whatever and you think maybe she's gonna lift up a sunfish and she yeah. stands up with a 45 pound carp she's like holy <laughs> shit what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> Damn, nice work. <laughs> right. I'll put it back because it's a carp. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now let it go because otherwise we just have to kill it. <laughs> right. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, it was pretty, that's nuts. pretty cool though. Dude, yeah. I've I've honestly thought that before. Like I've talked about it on other episodes. Like where early morning I've seen them on the river just rutting around and you're like, I don't think it can hear me because of the noise it's making. I bet I could just come up and like dive on it. 
but I don't, I never saw the need, you know, you I was could. like, I'm not going to, I'm not, I think I could, but I'm not going to get into the river and just be like, <laughs> bear hug the, <laughs> but if you're already swimming and it's right there, yeah. hell yeah, I'd go for that. That's good. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and Maddie sure as fuck did, man. <laughs> nice. Nice work. Yeah. And nice name. Was that Maddie, Maddie Frise? Frise? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a hockey player. It does. The Frise and we got Parise and right. yeah. Yep. And just the Maddie, like Maddie Frise. Yeah, for sounds sure. Like, for sure. Sounds like you know, their name would be like Matt or something. And then right. like Maddie is like the yep. nickname. Yep. You call him Maddie as a Yep. Maddie for sure. Frise scores again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> scores a 45 pound carp. <laughs> yeah. Score. So yeah. Look out for Maddie. I guess she's out there doing tournament fishing and uh, being yeah. real crazy on the, on the fishing scene. So she's making moves, man. This was, it was cool to read. She's legit tournament fishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like this eleven-year-old girl is is out there. They said that she's out there, she's out there fishing. Like she's in the fishing world. So Hell yeah, look out for her. <laughs> she's gonna have an Instagram account in five years. <laughs> she probably already got one. Probably Maddie Frise after this. Parents might run it, but Maddie Frise out there noodling carp. The carp whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do something different. We're, you know what? Okay, hard cut, hard cut. Off the fishing news. We're, this is not how we normally start things. And I know it's an anniversary episode, but I want to go back one, just one, just jump back one, episode 47. We have mm-hmm. some little corrections that we wanted to come to the table with, right? Isn't, isn't that yes. something you wanted to do too? Yeah. So there's, I wanted to touch on one thing from each of the last episodes, just oh, real quick. So back to 47 and 46. 47 and 46. Just one thing from each that I okay, did not okay. think of yeah. earlier. Which is so, why I wanted, to, I wanted to do this on this episode. Now, maybe we'll make this a regular thing. Hopefully not. We try to be as good as we can. You know, whatever. Yeah. But like, but yeah. I mean, if there's something else to touch on from the last one to be like, rewind. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a rewind. Yeah. So did you have something you wanted to say or should I just I go? did. I did. So okay. you want me to jump in first? Go for it. All right. There's only two. It, it, it's a it's a little bit of a dumb thing. <laughs> and I listened to the podcast. So I listened back to the podcast. Yeah. And same. I don't I don't we we do live to tape situations, right? So that's how we'll we'll put this into the anniversary episode. It's like kind of bring people in, let everybody know like, "Hey, you know, you've been with us for a little while. We do live to tape. You already know that basically. We just right. we record and we do minimal editing. Uh there's multiple reasons, but mostly we just like our live flow. We like the way that we flow. And I said on the last one that the TMNT game had a vertical an up and down dodge from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen i was wrong i was wrong okay the guy from ign i just interpreted it wrong okay but you you, move up and down still oh of course and but it's it's still your typical up and down vertical movement you just can't dodge that way so when you hit the dodge button you dodge left screen or right screen you cannot okay. dodge up screen or down screen. Sure. The up and down is still but, just pretty much as slow as you would expect it to be. <laughs> okay. Which is... So, I guess, yeah. note for the creators, anybody hears this? Did you hear how excited we got when we thought there was up and down dodging? Exactly. That's Maybe why I wanted to go back to it, because <laughs> me and you both were super stoked on that, and I hadn't put enough time into the game only to figure out I couldn't do it. And then I went back to the IGN review and I was like, ah, shit, I misinterpreted what he was saying. Yeah. And maybe it makes the game too easy when you can up and down dodge. So if that's the case and you do hear this and you're just like, right, it's just too easy, idiots or whatever, let us know. I don't care. You don't have to call us idiots. though. Tell me that. (laughs) I want to hear that. (laughs) For sure. I want to know that. Yeah. So, yeah. So my part of last time, I cannot believe that I did not talk about 
my Navionics app on my phone. Oh. It's just like Google Maps, like where you want to look for the maps and stuff, except for mm-hmm. I can scroll and once I see the body of water, mm-hmm. then I can just zoom in and I have the contour maps. I can see everything oh, about fuck. that like straight off the bat. <laughs> right. I believe I didn't think of it. Right. The Navionics map is what made it possible for us to drive. So this is random side note. We went up to Voyager National Park for mm-hmm. Josh's mm-hmm. bachelor party mm-hmm. in a houseboat. Mm-hmm. And we drove back in a pontoon boat on an unfamiliar body of water that has buoys all over the place because there's giant rocks that you can't hit in the dark, <laughs> in the rain, so we could watch Conor McGregor fight Mayweather at a yep. bar. Yep. And without that Navionics app, I wouldn't have made it back. <laughs> right. You know, none of us would have. No. So that app showed us contour, like where I was with the GPS and all that good stuff. So it's awesome for navigating when you're on the water and finding lakes and everything. So I can't believe I didn't hit that one. So yeah, don't need to go into any more of it. Right. If you're looking for something out there, the Navionics app, I'm pretty sure for free, you can use it with like just, uh, okay maps where it's like a contour line every five feet Mm, but if mm -hmm. you pay for it like i do then you have like one foot increments and it's super detailed Mm -hmm. yeah very Mm -hmm. good stuff so yeah yeah, that that was from that one yeah and we weren't necessarily talking just about maps we'll definitely do another episode on maps like we'll get into diving into maps but you make a really good point about like yeah you want to find somebody like you want to find a spot to fish that's a fucking really good way well, that, to do it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Because I was talking about like, go oh, look at Google Maps and you can see the bodies of water. Right. You have Navionics. It's the same thing. You can like, do the, the same GPS thing. To show you where you're at, you can look. <laughs> and then all you can, you can look and you see the body of water and you're just like, oh, that looks like something. Right. And then you can just zoom in and see if the contours look like something that would be interesting. Right. right. But don't always judge a book by its cover. You know, not always like that. Some of the lakes that don't have a lot going on are pretty dope too. So... Right, right. But it's a really good point. And then you said episode, yeah. you want to go back to episode 46 too. And that was, that was our budget fishing yeah. one, right? Right. The budget fishing one. So one thing that I didn't think of, cause go back to that. If you want to hear some of the other tips, we're talking about bargain bins and how to get all these deals and all this other stuff. But mm-hmm. one thing I didn't think about, if you're just starting out and you want to get some decent quality stuff at a low price is e-commerce websites. What? Like they're well, like, there's that Pacifun and okay. there's Cast King. No. Oh. Those are rod and reel companies that do not sell to anybody else. Oh. They shit. cut out the middleman, so it's just you getting stuff straight from them. Right, right. So you're talking, you know, I bought an ice fishing reel mm-hmm. from Pacifun. I think I spent like 45 bucks on it. Holy shit. But to get all the features that I spent on that reel, that reel is easily close to $100 when you're talking about buying like the equivalent of like 13 fishing. Right, right. So some of those, I mean, you know, obviously I'm still out there buying these other brands too. Of course. But like you can get really good quality stuff at a low price point. On these like direct to customer situations. Yeah, when you're talking like high end, like mid to entry level type stuff, you can mm-hmm. get really good deals when you're looking at that e commerce stuff. So don't be scared on that. And there's a weight one that I can't think of either right now, but there's like tungsten weights that they sell where they're okay. ridiculously cheap because they only sell them online. Mm-hmm. A like three pack of tungsten weights is like four fifty to like five fifty somewhere in there. That's like three weights. Mm-hmm. And they're selling them for like 39 cents a piece. Oh. So it's Holy like. Holy shit. Yeah. So there's some of those websites. But do your research and make sure that it's a legit site because there right. are some out there that are bullshit. Yeah. I did try to buy uh, and this. Those ones where they're their own company. Those mm-hmm. ones are more legit where it's like a company that's like we got bulk deals on. Yep. You know, Abu Garcia Rivos. Yep. And you're just like, damn, sweet. Sometimes those can be garbage. 
yep. where they're like, buy a three pack. And you're like, yep. why would I, why the fuck would I buy a three pack? Yeah. That's the bulk deal situation. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's yes. like a minimum three or minimum five. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. And for those sure. ones sometimes, like I got, I got screwed over on one of those one time. It was like a Avo Garcia Revo reel for like fifty dollars when they retail for like ninety, which isn't that crazy amount of money off. So I didn't think mm-hmm. much of it, mm-hmm. and then I never got shit. Oh, I just gave them like forty bucks and nothing ever came. And nothing, yeah. And you can't get it back. It's just nope. impossible to get back from that. Yep, yep. The only yeah. thing they're doing, like, oh, settle it in small claims court. And I'm like, oh. And that's how they get their money. Small claims like, court they, for they, forty they, bucks is never yeah, going to happen. Know, <laughs> yeah, they know everybody's just going to be like, I'm not putting in the time and effort to try to get my forty dollars back from these dick bags. Yeah, yeah. No, that's exactly what they do. It is a hundred percent what they do. That fucking. So be sucks. careful on that. But Cast King, Pissafun are both rod and reel companies that are fantastic when you're looking for gear like that. They are nice. legit, and they have good quality stuff at low prices. So. Awesome. Want to touch on that. Get that get that in there. Yeah. All right, dude. So I want to go back and talk about episodes. Like it's two years, man. It's been two years. I know some people, if you do the math, there's 52 weeks in a year and you're on episode 48. How the hell does that work? Well, we do specials. We do holiday specials. If you do the math, we've done that many holiday specials. Just that's four. But anyways, that's right. the point that I'm trying to get to is eight, nine, ten, two. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, four. Yeah, we've done four yeah. holiday specials. That's the math. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, I wanted to I wanted to go back and I wanted to like touch back on some things that we talked about in episode one that we talked about in episode in in certain episodes and how episode one connected into other ones. And dude, your your part in episode one specifically had a lot of goals in it and so i was like okay this is our perfect opportunity to do a quick like a a partial review of our 2022 fishing goals too which you can find on realaf.tv right there at the top and so i was like all right this is perfect so we're like that's what i want to do this whole episode we will still split it up you know kind of um i don't know that we're going to split it up because it if you're joining us, we split it up every other week. We come out, we come out every other week. Every other Monday, you get the full podcast. But in the off week, you go over to YouTube and you can get the random take and the fishing topic separated. One on Wednesday, which is the fishing, and one on Friday, which is our random take. But the the point that I'm trying to get to here is there was a lot of goals in the first one. Yeah. And I thought this was a great time. So you got a camera for yes ice fishing right i did yep and in the first episode well let me just ask this it's primarily for ice fishing correct yes primarily for ice fishing i have other ideas but yes and okay you have other ideas we won't we won't necessarily get into that (laughs) right (laughs) now good 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 way to pause and hold back uh but in episode one Two years ago, you didn't even have an ice house yet. Okay, yeah. Did you did you even remember that? Because that was no, how we started dude. this episode, and you were like, "Well, I had that, you know, that means that's half my kids' life." And you started the podcast earlier, and you were just <laughs> right. like, "Yeah, I don't know, I don't have an ice house." And I know we did some pilot episodes, and we said that, but like, yeah, dude. Yeah. No, one I of your goals even... was to get a camera to fish, to ice fish, to ice fish walleye. Yeah. And yeah, you did that, that this year. And then that was my that was my twenty twenty two goal. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then yeah. like in episode one, you were just like, Man, I gotta get a nice house. Like you didn't Dude. say it in those words, but like yeah. that's kinda what came that's out. That's crazy. Yeah, because now I have all of that. I have the ice house, the auger, I have a camera, I have like four legit rod and reel setups for all different occasions and stuff. I have a ton of different jigs and stuff. Like right. I I I have a heater. I have a legit ice fishing setup. Like I could go out on pretty much any day now. I didn't have like, I don't think I had like snowsuit or nothing. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Thinking back on that. Yeah. And so now I have like a legit clam uh, snowsuit and everything. Like I'm right. ready. I'm ready. And I misspoke. I, it could have been episode four 
But episode four was our walleye episode. And so okay. that's how all this, it's connecting into the, the yeah. walleye situation. So between episode one and four, you said you didn't even have an ice house. And then this year, in 2022, which you just crossed off the list, you wanted to get a camera to help fish walleye. And it was just like, oh shit, dude. <laughs> dude, that's crazy to think about. like, Isn't it? Because your brain years, doesn't even process that as no, I say I it, does it? Two years doesn't sound like a long time. <laughs> But then you think about, like, I've literally acquired everything I need for ice fishing. I have the depth finder. I have yep. everything I just listed off, plus yeah. a camera. Right, right. I literally have nothing more that I need, just stuff that I want now. I literally have right. everything I need to go ice fishing. So in the last two years, because of the podcast, you have gone from no ice fishing to being a fully equipped fisherman, ice fisherman now that just yeah. needs to... Figure it out, <laughs> which yeah, is, by the way, one it. of your goals for 2022 was why are ice fishers where they are? Did you figure that out? And there's still I, the second half. Remember, winter here yeah. is from the end of October and, <laughs> you know, until yeah. May. <laughs> so you yeah, still have so time in 2022. What do you think? I definitely did. Yes. I okay. got a lot of answers. Killer. I did a lot of research. I definitely figured out where I was going and what the purposes are i figured out why they aren't in the same spots that they are in the summer and i figured out that some like now too from doing more summer research i figured out that sometimes they are fishing where i never saw anybody fishing in the summer but that's more what? of like musky stuff because the basin where it's just like the deepest part of the water like there are muskies and other stuff just roaming the deepest part of the lake suspending oh. in the middle of nothing Okay. There's some weird stuff out there. I'm not ready to delve into that, like moving water stuff. If I'm <laughs> if I'm drilling a hole and just sitting in one spot, I'll I'll give it a shot. You know. Sure. But the the moving and stuff, I don't have the the electronics that some of them have. Sure. And I am not confident enough to go out just with down imaging to see directly underneath me, and sure. go out there in like fifty feet of water. So that's a random side note, but <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> but I'm not totally ready. Out. I'm not ready for that. I'm, I'm content with fishing what I'm at right now. You know, I see some of that stuff that I've heard of is like in fishermen and stuff sure. where I think they're almost getting bored of like, I've, I've kind of done a lot on the weed edge. I'm uh, going to go to the middle of the lake and just spend my time in the deepest water for no reason. And see what the hell's there. And I'm just like, Yeah. Now with the electronics that they have now, you can play around. And I'm just like, no, I, I have barely passed the regular depth finder. I have, <laughs> I can see what's directly <laughs> underneath me, and that's about as far as it goes for me right, right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. uh, you. With ice fishing, because you were just kind of talking about this, you know, drill a hole, figure it out or whatever. You said in episode one, you were like, I'm not a very patient fisherman. And that yeah. you you figured out that you didn't have and that's why walleye is sort of fishing walleye in general is sort of new to you obviously fishing ice walleye is new to you is yeah. now that you are an ice fisherman or you know you're definitely becoming more of an ice fisherman have you changed that in the last two years like are you sort of patient now or like how does that work mm, how, or well, how do you feel about that here's here's the thing like i'm not a super patient fisher like wasn't a super patient fisherman mm -hmm. ice fishing definitely helped out a little bit where it kind of forces you to be you know like you drill holes it and then you move and stuff and it's like yeah. Yeah. i'm just not trying to do all this you know i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with this hole for a little while at least because i i really don't want to try to move to the next spot the, yeah. especially depending on the weather where you're just like right I just right. got everything kind of warm in here. I'd really rather not try to move <laughs> to another spot and get cold, you know? Right, right, right. And see but if I can draw also, them in. Yeah. But also uh, having a kid, mm. I think having a kid has helped with the patience a little bit because there's mm. some times where mm -hmm. they're just insane that. and you just have to be like, oh. And right. Take that fishing, deep breath quick and go, hold on fishing, a second. Hold yeah. On fishing second. never gets to that point. So I think it helps a little bit where I'm trying something and it's not working. And you're able to just almost kind of step back and just go, gosh, darn it. What's going on here? <laughs> Where, you know, with your mm -hmm. kid, they're doing shit and you're just like, can you, can you just not? 
Please stop doing for, that. For a minute. <laughs> Dad, why's your face look like that? Just stop before you figure it out, huh? <laughs> 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 Nothing. Can you just stop doing what you're doing, please? Why does my face look like what? I always look like this. <laughs> what the hell are you trying to say? Are you making fun of me? Dude, it's just, oh, there's stuff. <laughs> it's like, no, dude. Well, you can't help it. I had, I just had a moment like that tonight. We, I, I got home late for work. We went out to a restaurant. And it was a, a Chinese buffet because mm-hmm. I knew we were going to be recording and stuff. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. I don't want to wait for anything. We're going to go. We're going to get our food. Food's ready. We yep. can eat. And then we'll just come home. Right. And he like has ice cream. He eats like the whole cone. And then all of a sudden he's like, it's too cold. And he just starts like drooling out chocolate on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Catch it and like it's like smear some on the face. You smear on my face, and it's like, well, you drill it on the floor. <laughs> just, just, well, just don't do that. Stuff like that, and then and then when you're out there fishing, you know, you're just like things aren't going my way, but at least they're not drooling all over the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh God, that's so funny. <laughs> It's, yeah, kids do dumb things. We're dads, and we just, I, I flat out said that in the grocery store to my daughter. Yeah. I was like, nope, you can't do that. Your dumb right. kid brain doesn't comprehend that right now. Uh, I just had, uh, look, you're not dumb. I've just lived more life than you have. You can't do that. Right. Just don't do that. Yeah. That's just impolite. <laughs> right. This is out loud in the grocery store in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> just like, no. Nope. Yeah. Your dumb kid brain. <laughs> yeah, like, your dumb Whoa. kid. Your brain is not fully developed. <laughs> when they ask why, you just want to get real with them sometimes. Oh, but why? Because yeah. what you're doing is fucking stupid. <laughs> I I can't explain it any better than that. <laughs> like you don't understand what you're doing is wrong to the point where you're asking why. Right. And what you're doing is so profoundly dumb that I don't have a better answer for you than you <laughs> than it's just dumb. You're doing dumb things right now. This <laughs> Yep, yep. Oh, for sure, for sure. Okay. All right. That's that is the exact stuff that I wanted to have on the anniversary though. It's just like, yeah, side tangents are gonna happen. Dad side tangents, it's gonna happen. So there you yeah. go. <laughs> Uh, but back to the to the walleye stuff. One of your fishing goals was, uh, be ready with the cameras for a good stretch of walleye. Is that oh, still yeah. possible? Like, I don't. I still. I even after re-listening to episode four, the walleye podcast, which we're gonna definitely have more than one of those. Like, that's not just. <laughs> it's yeah. not just one and done. There's a hundred percent about that because we only have yeah. you know so much time, but. Even after listening, I'm like, oh, shit, I have to ask Tim. I'm like, is that even possible still? I don't know how walleye season works. I haven't paid enough attention. Oh, yeah. We're talking like. Well, for, into fall. Are we talking summer fishing? Yeah, for sure. Oh, no. You just you. This is I, so I didn't listen. I didn't re-listen yeah, to. I forget um, what I say sometimes. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. I didn't. And yeah, it's on the podcast. It's harder too, especially when you're like taking notes and you're trying to make sure that you're saying things fluently, right? Sure, sure. You sometimes don't fully burn this into your brain and that's why going back and listening helps. But I didn't go back and listen to our goals episode. Um, I just have the what we wrote down and it says, be ready for a good stretch of time with cameras for walleye season. And so okay. I think you purposely kept it broad like that right yeah i think i think doesn't that sound it does sound familiar because i think there was a couple of times where like i went out and we caught walleye and stuff and i was never ready Mm. for anything and i think pb yeah right right i didn't yes i didn't catch that that's probably what happened where i didn't get out in the spring i haven't like 100 percent honest with you Things mm-hmm. have not gone well as far as fishing has gone this year. Right. I got out right. once on the river this weekend. 
when, when everybody else is out there with the 4th of July and stuff, it's going to be my first time being able to fish out of a boat this year. Mm, mm-hmm. And this is insane for me. It's never been this long. But Right. Yeah. Even Anyways. even in episode one, you were like, just get back on the water, pandemic and shit like that. Right. This has still been a longer drought. Long, long mm-hmm. drought. It's never mm-hmm. been this. It's always been like early May, if yeah. not April, where yeah. I'm out there trying to like cast around stuff. But yeah. anyways, um, yeah, I am definitely ready. And I'm thinking like... There's been a lot of times where I've been like, I just need to go out by myself. Mm. I don't need to go by by myself to record all this stuff. No. You know, no. I can I can just bring the cameras with and we can set everything up. Yeah. And most of the time it's me and my nephew and my mm-hmm. dad. The only mm-hmm. problem is, is that if I bring it out with my nephew and then we're all recording, if you guys watch that video, you're going to hear him asking random ass questions about Pokemon and me just being like, can we just <laughs> fish? You know, <laughs> well, who knows? It might make good content, but also with the but, lapel mics, because you know, like that's yeah, something we've talked yeah, about. Yeah, hopefully a lot. he doesn't pick up me. You just have, or it'll only pick up me. You just have him in the background and me answering questions. So you only hear one side of like, yes, that is the evolved form. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but um no, dude, I am ready for sure. I went and got a bunch of. um the battery pack, like the cell phone, uh, whatever those are called. I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah battery the packs. external, yeah, the external battery packs. So yeah, I have for sure. Yeah, you've told me everything about set up to set up everything and just record for like hit the record button and not have to worry about it yeah. for like four or five hours at a time. Yeah. yeah. So I've definitely um, acquired everything to be able to get out there and make it happen. And we're well within walleye season. Because, like, I know walleye season. Oh, for sure. For me, it's like walleye season's after ice out. It's like. Yeah. Walleye season is a lot easier to catch. I think it's better fishing for most when it's springtime and fall time. I think. Oh, okay. Okay. That they're, like, I think a lot of people wait for later fall to go walleye fishing. Because that's. um a more popular time and a lot better chances at like trophy fish and kind of the same in the springtime when they're, when they're just getting done with the spawn and you know that they're up shallow. Right. Right. In the summertime they move deep and it gets a little bit tougher to catch them. But I, the majority of my walleye um, experience has been in the summer. So for sure. Oh, we're still, so you're still still totally within that. Like, Yep. That goal's not going anywhere. <laughs> no, no. This weekend might be a little bit tough because of boat pressure and stuff with the 4th of July, everybody out right, there yeah, and just, whatnot. So mm-hmm. Recreational. they seem to be a little bit like more finicky and spookier fish where if it's like a calm day and there's a lot of boat traffic and stuff, sometimes they're a little bit harder to catch. So I might sure. target uh, um bass more so this weekend and not yeah, get after the sure. walleye but well, and that's you your can shit definitely too, catch so. big fish still because my biggest fish ever i don't remember what episode that was the fish tails one i think yeah yep biggest fish ever came off of fourth of july oh sick dude yeah. <laughs> that's a good omen <laughs> yeah so today's the day <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> look out for on the gram that's right really ftv remember real like fishing real you can find us look it up Yep, yep, and the gram Hopefully will be, too. The Hopefully. Gram will be, yep, back popping. It's been a little bit of a hiatus because, like I said, I haven't been out there. It's hard to take fish pictures when you're not fishing. But. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and there's just been some shit going on in your personal life. You had a rough spring and other shit like that, and, you know, some family stuff going on. So it's like, hey, hey, give him right. a break. Give him a break. I'm not the fisherman. I've said that many times. That's kind of our kind of our deal, but um, I I'm not going to say anything officially on the podcast. <laughs> I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> uh, but I do want to go back to the Pokemon thing, dude, because catch something on the Kyuger lure, the Pokemon Kyuger lure. We have the video up. We unbox the Kyuger. Tim right now is bringing up that lure from behind him. If you are watching this on YouTube, if That's you're right. just listening on the podcast, hey, you're going to have to go over to YouTube and check it out. Or even just go over to YouTube quick and check out the unboxing video that we did of these Pokemon lures. They're so 
sick. So, and we've talked about them before. You got Pikachu, which we didn't even put on the goal list because you were like, don't worry, something will get caught on Pikachu. With Kyogre, yeah, though, you said there's, you're going to catch something, but you said it's a little bit more specific or the, my memory is like, it's going to take more finesse. It's going to be a little bit more specific. Like it's going to have to hit the water at more certain times. Like, I'm, yeah, the Kyogre is a bigger lure, so it's I, I'm thinking it'll be like a pike that I catch off of a Kyogre, but a muskie will be sick. <laughs> so yeah, muskie that would be super dope. Uh, dude, it's, it would be awesome. But it's kind of like a walk, the dog, or like a walking bait, uses its arms and kind of goes like clap, 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 clap. So I'm thinking mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that if I could get early morning, late night with a top water, I think I got a chance. I think I got a real legitimate chance yeah, at yeah. catching a fish off of this Kyogre lure. And it might take a different lake, you know, something. Oh, with, yeah, you think not, so? Maybe something not clear water where mm-hmm. the motion and stuff really gets their attention without them being able to study this blue whale. You know? <laughs> because, I mean, to be honest, if you don't know Pokemon and you don't, and, and you don't just get that reference. Just yeah, go over to Real AF TV on YouTube and and look up the unboxing video. It's a fucking blue whale. <laughs> yeah, it's a blue whale. It's got whale. feathers on it and stuff like that. Like yeah, it's got legit. It's got legit like feathered hooks. I don't know. I don't know what kind of feathers. Oh no, I they don't look marabou ish. I don't know if it says it. It might the, say it. Most of this but, is in I Japanese. Mean, so. Right. It's half <laughs> Japanese, so it's really hard to tell. Yeah. They're right. imported. Like, they were imported for a special event or a special cross with Tackle Box, Tackle Warehouse, I think it was. Tackle Warehouse. Yeah. Yep. Did a special thing with importing them. Yeah. But uh, also, also, Tim. So, cool. Yes. You still, you still got that on your, on your radar. You're still going to try to. You're still gonna try to make that happen. It's coming with this weekend, just because. Yep. Just because it's the middle of summer now. You're like, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh yeah, don't worry. I'm still getting out there. I will be fishing into the fall for sure. Yeah, dude. If if it takes just me out on my little, it seems mm-hmm. I don't know I if mini boat. fall gets less windy. I feel like there. I got more chances at calmer waters. When it gets yeah, later in the year, it's been a really, really windy, really windy. And that's I what's been that's, that's what's been keeping me off the water because I don't have a legit big so, boat, right. and strong winds are rough in that little fellow. So. <laughs> right, right. And, I, and that's a. I think that that's a precursor to a, a, a episode in the future, probably. Um, but also, dude, we recorded episode one on. Pokemon Community Day. So, like, Pokemon Go is just like oh, a nice. running thread through our shit <laughs> <laughs> from the jump. <laughs> it's always just been being played. Yeah. You're, you you literally awesome. said, like, oh, I'm playing it right now. And I said, you have it up on your phone, right? And you're like, oh, yeah, it's Community Day. And like, literally, like, and you said, yeah, yeah, like, I'm playing right now. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, because it's Community Day. Like, we had this back and <laughs> forth. Like, just, it's so funny just how Pokemon has been this running thread through our whole shit. I just, I just love it. <laughs> That's awesome. So I brought up in, in episode one, I brought up a catfish already. Of course I did. Uh, and in, in in the episode review, we talked a little bit about our time when we went fishing with Sam. That time we went actual catfishing with Sam. Yeah. Yep. I still I'm have that about. down on my list of catfish fry. I want to have like, not just, yeah, I, I can buy catfish from the grocery store here. Like just, it's yeah. in the, it's in the fish cabinet all the time, year round. I want to have a real deal catfish fry. Like I want to go get catfish. I, I want to fry them up. I just thought my parents live 15 miles from that lake. Oh, dude. I, I'm And it's a small lake. Yeah. That is definitely a target lake that I'm hitting with the little boat now. Dude, how, we how could just go out there. I literally just had this idea right now. 
How have I not how, thought of this? How is this just hitting us right now? Because I, I need could, to go fish. Dude. I need to go learn more about catfish on the little lake. Yeah. I'm going to put catfish in the boat and then we'll have a catfish fry. I'll go fillet them, whatever I catch, I'll fillet up. And Dude, I'll even if you go out the and then you're like, hey, they're biting and you're so you should finish up whatever you're doing. You should come out <laughs> like, yeah, holy shit. Fuck. I, I still want to do that. I want to be part of catching the catfish. But yeah, like, dude. if this is what it comes down to to make my goal happen, that I'm there to help clean them help batter them, help fry them. Like, I don't care that I'll still count that for my goal for 2022, but good ass point. Never thought about it before. So and hopefully, so you know, in the, in the future here, like next year, Becca, it'll be out of daycare. And then mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. money. Frees up money to be able to finance a boat. So hopefully, right, right, next year you won't be hearing me talk anymore about just like, well, my little boat and it's windy. Like, <laughs> but it's still, you, you gotta keep that boat around though for these like, oh yeah, because there's so many around. moments like it's rigged yeah. up great for. That was one of the things. I just went off in our last in our one year episode. Like in our, yep. our first anniversary episode, I went off on, dude, I was so proud. And I still am, just want to make that clear, oh, for our live fishing, how we went live fishing. Oh, yeah. I was playing video games. You were live fishing. Like we were, we were, we were live on the internet. You were on a lake. Right. I was in the studio. Like it was fucking sick, dude. And we were I just split screen. Yep. Me fishing with you playing playstation yeah and we just and, carried on a conversation for like three and a half hours <laughs> and we were able to do that live yeah that's that's a feat because yeah some people i don't think really think about it because you think like oh whatever anybody can go live like on instagram or whatever that's exactly what we sure. said sure one exactly phone what we said. just hitting the live and recording that is sure Mm -hmm. But like I had a wireless mic set up so I could hear you plus oh, yeah. the camera could hear me mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it took some troubleshooting, but we made it work and it it worked awesome. It works so good. I'm so proud of the quality of that thing. And that's actually what we're trying to do here. And that's why it's taken us so long to get out videos. And we've said this multiple times. So if if you haven't been with us since that last episode, cool. you don't have to go back and listen to, you know, our one year anniversary. But if you haven't been on the YouTube channel shoot over to the YouTube channel and, and check out that video because that video is there. It's like three some hours long. And we 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 did that thing live. Yes, it's video on demand yeah. now. It's VOD. But yeah. we were live. We were 100% yep. live. And, and if you find it too, I think it says like, I know you had like kind of like a screensaver. So just mm -hmm. click into it a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. It's there, I promise. I can't remember. Do you remember what it says? What do you mean? What it, it says like real AF TV will be right here or something. Oh, like when you start that video. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. So there's a little bit in the beginning. There's a little bit of a buffer. So if you click on it and you're just like, what's this? Buffer. Well, yeah, on that's the word. When you go live, you usually play a buffer video and sound for a little while while right. you prepare yep. in the background. You just go live. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. so we had some technical difficulties and stuff like that, but so there's some buffer video, but if you just, you know, click forward, we just appreciate yeah. watching it for a little bit and then, you know, just click forward randomly past that a little ways and, and, and check it out because we're super proud of it, dude. We have to do it again. We really do. It's just coordinating, right? Coordinating two different schedules. Right. That's what it's going to come down to. Yep. Um, even if we do it short, but I kind of feel like we didn't address that in our 2022 goals and we'll get into real yeah. FTV goals in the second half here. But I think that we, we got to bring that one up again next year for sure. And even try to get to it this year again, if we can, I don't, but that's getting a little too ambitious. Otherwise we would have brought it up in our, <laughs> at the beginning of the year. Sure. Uh, it's just a lot to coordinate, but that yeah, was, that was in, you know, listening back, I just wanted to bring that up and be like, we came a long way in in one year from trying like the sound this sounds so shitty. I didn't have an I didn't have the intro down at all 
at all. Oh boy. I blew the ep- I blew the episode <laughs> 4 intro. Like <laughs> it was still hey, garbage. <laughs> uh but but anyways, the the whole thing there is like man, the live video was was sick. I just wanted to to bring it up in in this conversation quick. Yeah. Um there there were a lot of goals. So I I said that at the beginning. This is why I wanted to uh sort of bring it up. Obviously, the fish fry the catfish fry cuz we talked about catfish right away and how I I kind of love catfish. Uh to get back to the the walleye thing from how we kind of kicked this off. I want to go fishing walleye eaters. Now, yeah. I might need your advice on that. We might have to coordinate that. That would be dope if we could make that happen together. But sure. I'm glad to hear that you were just like, there's no worries about walleye season. Because like I was just like, oh, fuck, yeah. it's midsummer now. Walleye season is over. No, you could try again uh, in the fall. Walleye fishing is... Maybe harder to find them, but easier to fish right now. Mm. You can you can put a you can bobber fish with a leech right now, mm. and mm. that works real well. Mm. Okay, Shannon's biggest walleye, my wife's biggest walleye ever, came mm-hmm. off of a bobber and a leech in the summer. So you can yep, you can catch okay. some good fish right now. Still, no worries. Sick. Some of them are hanging tight. Some of them go pretty deep. But some of them are hanging tight in the weeds right now. We can definitely catch walleye. So nice, good. I'm very like, glad to hear I, that. <laughs> you just sometimes it's weird. You either got to fish like bobber fish, so you're not even moving, or you got to fish fast. Is what oh. I've learned. Interesting. Like, little bit heavier weights and uh-huh. ripping that bait like. Yeah. So, yep. Sick. You know what else? Don't need to get into all of it right now, but. Right, right. Sorry, no, because that's not the point of the episode. Burby. I'm trying to talk and I'm just like, eh. And then <laughs> you can buy our fish. <laughs> 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 no, you're, you're right though. You're, you're, you're doing the quick, the sound bite sort of situations. Cause this is sort of like episode review. The whole, you know, I said it enough. I don't need to say it again. The. <laughs> Other thing in regards to like, we're going to have to coordinate to make my goal of walleye fishing for eaters happen with my new gear. Uh, One thing I can't believe I didn't think about. I haven't thought about yet. Maybe an episode idea. I don't know. Musky hunting. Like we should go musky hunting. Oh yeah, dude. We should go musky hunting. Yeah, for sure. It just, yeah. It was sort of, it was brought up in episode one. And I didn't even realize it or say it then. It was like listening back to episode one. I was like, oh, man, that's so stupid. How did I overlook <laughs> this? Like, that'd be fucking sweet. But my question is, is do you have two setups? Like, because I don't think I have a setup. I don't, right? Uh, I mean, you yeah. know, you basically know my gear. I don't think I could do it. You could, you could use small stuff. Okay. But yeah. I could, I can make that. Yeah, I have a, I have a older, um, yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> I have a, I think I have an, uh, I think my dad, like I haven't put it together, but I have my original, like musky reel, what I got started with is like is the that? old, like can style Abu Garcia. Oh, sick. And yeah, so I have that. And then I have another musky rod, like a Cabela's, like nothing special. But that one, mm-hmm. I think I have from my dad because he went and bought like a more legitimate setup. Like he only has the one, but he went and bought like mm-hmm. a big Daiwa Lexa 400 or whatever, like a nice big ass reel. Okay. And then I have a I have a Abu Garcia Revo Toro, which is a nice like they're what me and my dad have are both like low profile, like bait casters that are designed like bass reels. 
but okay. they're big okay. for muskies. And that old school can style is like what everybody started with muskies and stuff. Oh. So that one's a little bit harder on the thumb. <laughs> oh, shit. I just go and punch the mic. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a little bit harder. <laughs> Bam. Bam. <laughs> but, Get sound but, effects in there. <laughs> but the your thumb sits a little bit farther up instead of it being lower profile because of the way the gears are set up and stuff or whatever. Okay. But yeah, dude, now that I think about it, for sure I have a second setup. And the rods are more sturdy, right? Like, I mean, that's the, heavy, I think that's the thing gear. that I'm worried about yeah. is like, I have more of a mid range. Yeah. Like, Cause the, the different rods with the different powers and stuff mm-hmm. have the ratings on what you can throw as far as weight. Hmm. So mm. when you're talking about throwing like a full ounce bait, right? I don't think your rods can handle that. Right, right. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. Because yep, I have of more those, of that mid kind of. Yeah. It'll throw something decent if I'm going for a bigger bass or some walleye. Yeah. Like, and a full ounce is like, that's a big, <clears throat> that's a big like bass jig. Is like a full ounce. Okay. You know, okay. like mm-hmm. my, there's, I think, I don't know if I still have it, but I know that there's a Musky Innovations makes, I believe it's called something dog. Okay. Some dog or something. I can't remember. It's mm-hmm. a pound. It's a full 16 ounces. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. So, so, even even the different powers, like you can have a heavy like spinning rod and it can't handle throwing something like that. You like you have to have a musky rod for yeah. some of this stuff. Right. But you can cast at a mile if you have the right thing, you know, <laughs> once you get it swinging. Because of all that weight. <laughs> yeah. Just chucking a pound. Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> um, you you mentioned tournament fishing in there too, and I kind of yeah. alluded to like there's got to be like local tournaments and stuff like that and yeah um i'm wondering where you are with that now because it didn't make it didn't make the 2022 goals and that's sort of like right. the, the connection that i you know where it clicked in my brain to hey i should i should write that down and bring that up with tim is like what do you what do you think there because obviously you know raising yeah. a child and shit like that too is right you know, so still (laughs) it's still yeah it's still something i definitely want to do like i would love to tournament fish and i've been putting together more rod and reel and gear and stuff and i and i feel a lot more confident with how many setups and stuff i have to be able to handle like all the different baits and stuff yeah um more efficiently Mm -hmm. um but I still don't really have a boat to go out there. I have been thinking yeah. about like looking into it and seeing if my boat now qualifies mm-hmm. to be fished in like a kayak tournament. Yeah. Because technically mine's in like a kayak realm. Right. And that right. would be dope. That but would I'd be still, sick, dude. I still want, especially fishing lakes that I don't normally fish, I still want to upgrade to side imaging uh, depth finder mm. right before i get right. into that because side imaging can really help you identify structure and stuff where lake maps will only do part of it for you where you're like sure. i know where the points are and all this other stuff but you know yeah. like the people who have side imaging have a huge advantage over me people yeah. with the live imaging right. i don't think anybody has i don't think anybody's messing with live imaging on a Mm -hmm. kayak yet so (laughs) yeah yeah okay i got you yeah because that's some real that's some real heavy duty electronic shit there do you yeah do you think like the tournaments around here like the more amateur tournaments are are fucking with electronics even into the side imaging and stuff oh yeah for sure i think yeah because because i have a depth finder Mm -hmm. and Side imaging isn't that hard to come by anymore. I think a lot oh, of people okay. have side sure. imaging depth finders on their kayak because the transducers Same. aren't that much different. And when you're talking about having a depth finder on your setup, there's a yeah. guy that I follow that's like Yak Bass, Yak Bassin or something. Sure. Well, he's got okay. a bunch of other letters in front of his name too, but he's a kayak 
uh, tournament fisherman. I believe he lives down near Texas someplace. Okay. But he has silent imaging on his kayak. So oh, okay. I follow some like tournament, like they're, I think a little bit higher level. Um, sure. Sure. Kayak tournament fishermen, you know? Yeah. But, but they still. definitely are rock and side imaging. So I'm like, well, I think, you know, and that's what, that's where I want to progress to into just like my normal everyday right. fishing. And right. There's a lot right. of stuff that it's I It's not learn just about for this tournament trip. goal. Like right. that you have is just like sort like, of a life goal. It's not on the 2022 goals by any means or anything. Just yeah. something for the future. I, yeah. I think there's a lot of stuff I can learn about the lake. I fish all the time still. Sure. Just having side imaging to be able to sure. see the structure broken down mm-hmm, and not mm-hmm. just see what's directly under me and know where I'm at as far as the contour lines and stuff. To be able to see that whole, you know, side imaging scans from where you are off to the side. That's why it's called right. side imaging. And yeah, it will show <laughs> you basically a picture of what you you can see out there. So to be able to see that in certain spots, I think would be eye-opening and teach me a lot so right right not only cool for like not only maybe necessary for the tournaments but like eye-opening and right i mean just for tournament feeding fishing, you more info just, giving you teaching you more like yeah. you said so yeah i get it yeah. i get it and just real quick to touch on it if anybody's listening to this thinking that you need that to fish you don't i got my start without any electronics and then i moved up to just a gps unit so i still didn't even know the exact depth I just had like a decent idea of where I was in the water. And then I got a depth finder so I could actually see how deep it was and figure mm-hmm. out where the weed edges and everything. So right. um, step by step, I just been kind of like working without anything. It's just that side imaging will help you eliminate a lot of dead water and make you a way more mm-hmm. efficient angler. Every step right. up just makes you more efficient. More efficient, so which can, is the key to catching fish. I mean, that's what it's about, eliminating. You've yeah. said it before, it's eliminating the, the open water, the dead water, or whatever. It was in the crappie video. Yeah, yep. Yeah, there's no point, you know, like if you know there's no structure there and you know that the fish are going to be on structure, there's no point in wasting all your time casting where you don't think there's going to be fish. Right. But if you right. don't know if there's not structure there, give it a shot you know (laughs) yeah (laughs) for sure that's how i learned was like casting and then you just find out like spots where like if i cast over there i always catch a fish i'm sure that there's something there that's got them on that spot i don't know what it is because i haven't seen it yet i just know from experience that this is the shot this is where i go i get that on the river the river i don't have any depth finder the river i don't know anything Right, But there's spots when I'm walking the bank that if I stand here and I cast there, there's something over there that attracts fish because I always catch the biggest fish on this cast. Oh. And you're just like, yep, there it was again. (laughs) (laughs) Sick, dude. Uh, Before we get into the more of the the random takes and just like funny, a little bit more funny stuff, I know we've been mixing it in and that's always kind of our thing, but uh, one of the... One of the things he said, and one of the things I was like, oh, shit, dude, this goes right back to our Finding a Lake episode, like the last episode, right? On episode 47, was yep. fishing new bodies of water. You were just like, yeah, man, fishing new bodies of water. It's it's crazy. And like going somewhere where I haven't fished. And I said, yeah, going down south and fishing for bass would be sick. And you're like, well, you kind of went into how you've done that before, but it was like, it was like the Montana thing, right? In the last episode when I was just like, you know that Montana has a bunch of inland bodies of water. Yeah. And they fish kind of like Minnesota. Like we should fucking figure that out. That'd be sick. I think it'd be super sick to go down south and fish bass in sort of the oh, same sure. method. And we kind of mentioned that in episode one. Uh, you brought up peacock bass too in that because you were talking about going to new bodies of water, new... Yeah. And, when I brought up peacock bass in the new in the episode that we did, the peacock bass episode, yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, you already knew." I was hoping I was going to catch you off guard. You said it in episode one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have all the specifics, obviously, that I that like we brought up in 
in the actual Peacock episode, but it was it was very funny to just listen back and go like, oh, that's funny. That that that's really funny how that came around. And again, yeah. as you're in the podcast and you're trying to keep on top of things, you sometimes don't comprehend everything. <laughs> sure. I mean, I don't remember all of it. That's why I'm all over all of it. I, I I don't even know how to word what I'm saying right now, but like when you were like, <laughs> do you remember this? And I'm like, no. no. When when you said, you know, you didn't even have an ice house when we started this. I'm like, right. damn, dude. I thought for sure I would remember something like that. <laughs> but <Right>? nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy to 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 think about, and that that's the reason why I brought it up is because we we kind of came to that conclusion or we kind of came to the same point in episode one that we did in episode 47 where it's like we should just try different bodies of water like just trying to figure out a different body of water is 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 a fun mm -hmm. thing to do it's like a fishing ass fish thing to do oh for and sure you want to do it I, I we should do it we should just like pick a lake and be like yeah oh, we don't know much about it let's just fucking try to see what we can do and it was you said bodies of water by the way I'm I'm implying lake here because I'm also implying oh with, yeah you know I'm also putting it down like yeah. down south fishing for bass sort of so it's, yeah. it's two things I mashed together but you flat out said just, body of water we can go just south in Minnesota mm. and find lakes that have white bass I know I brought that up before I've never oh, caught a white bass but right white bass are technically panfish and they're supposed yeah, to be yeah. good eating like crappie yep and hell yeah yeah. I would yeah, love you that. totally to, brought to, that up. To go on a to go on a new lake to try to catch a new species. I think that's why I got so pumped on that catfish. <laughs> like we were out there that one time, Sam caught a catfish. Like we had some bites. Things didn't go a hundred percent according to plan, but it's like I know that they're there and I know, you know, I have a little bit of an idea on how to catch them to go there and try to mm -hmm. figure out how to mm -hmm. and it's it's opposite water of what I'm used to too. That's another thing too. Because it's murky as fuck. Yeah, to learn how to fish a super murky lake for a fish I don't normally fish for. <laughs> that's exciting to just be like, uh, right. this new, like this totally new and different experience is within reach and it has been forever. And I can't believe I never thought of it. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't even say has been forever, but that little boat. The whole time I've had that little boat, it's just like, uh, that's literally just whatever weekend I'm at my parents' house. If I bring the boat, I can just be like, all right, I'm going to drive mm -hmm. 15 minutes down the road. Yeah. And there we go. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. It's, <laughs> and it's, it's not like a super uh, sought after lake to fish. I'm not going to have like a lot of competition at the boat landing. Like it's almost a perfect lake for me to go and try to fish. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, like it's not going to be like you're worried about this weekend. It's not. Yeah. It's not going to be overcrowded. Basically, anytime you go there. <laughs> right. Right. Crazy. I'm pretty pumped on this idea, <laughs> but now I don't. Now I got to focus on the other fish. I can't get sidetracked on this. It's time to go fishing for walleye and bass, and maybe an accidental muskie because that's how I caught. <laughs> The muskie, the biggest muskie I ever caught, was caught trying to catch walleye, ended up catching a bass. The bass got ate by the muskie. Go back to our fish tales episode if you want to hear the story. Right. right. Yes. <laughs> good point. Good point. Well, I, we're since we're gonna go ad free. We're gonna go ad free. We're gonna kind of play it like in one of our anniversary episodes, or I mean like one of our holiday specials. We're gonna go ad free this time. So I'm just gonna make the crack of the beer sound and and, and make this sort of transition into the more the more goofy stuff i guess and the more like random takes type things okay i have to tell you tim go back and listen to episode one. First of all like i've already said it the sound quality is shit yeah. we had a completely oh. different setup <laughs> okay. we have good mics now we have good cameras all that shit but yeah it was funny because we were so fucking mellow dude like <laughs> we i i'll say this i think i felt like i had to be playing uh, a part of like the host almost or um 
the the host that doesn't know what he's talking about. So I just have to play it cool and mellow and straight. Oh sure. <laughs> and it was fucking weird. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is that how you do it? Wow. <laughs> I kind of feel like that is like I feel like I was playing a part and it took me a little while to get out of my shell. Like I felt like I had to be a certain thing, like I had to be level or that I couldn't laugh into the mic or like, I had to just like NPR this motherfucker. <laughs> right? Yeah. I feel like we were playing a part, I guess is kind of what I'm saying. Or I was playing a part specifically, I think in episode one and the way that you brought it up in episode 25 again, that was our one year episode. It was so funny to me because you said that you were so mellow and like, I guess I never heard it that way. It was like, I asked you if you were being self-critical <laughs> and you were like, well, we're both, you know, yeah, self-critical. And I was like, okay, yeah, we're both admittedly self-critical, but right. I guess I didn't hear it in the first episode so much. And on my own, like to myself, I was like, oh, geez, I was being that guy. Like I was just being a, like <laughs> a, a flat voice almost. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> my memory sucks shit. So I don't, <laughs> I don't remember at all like the criticism but i definitely know like it'll be like time to like i listen to the last episode and then i'll like think of what i need to change for the next one and then i'll listen to it mm -hmm, again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so my memory sucks so much shit sometimes i'll listen think to myself i need to do that listen to the next episode and be like oh i totally didn't do anything like i'm listening to it again i'm like i told myself i needed to do this and i didn't do it uh maybe like write shit. it down or something i don't know and then i don't write it down and then i just keep trying trying to remember you know yeah yeah i got you i i got you <laughs> it's funny <laughs> it's funny i i because i notice i know i definitely have changed because like i just came out of my show i was like i find it kind of it finally just became like a conversation or however you want to put that right right For me, right like i was super flat at first which yeah i didn't notice and with you and that's all i, I just wanted to bring that well up. That i fun. i get it like i can remember myself too where i'm just like where it's the fishing topic and i'm thinking to myself okay like answer the questions and trying to be like yes so this is how things work this mm. is about this is fishing you know mm -hmm. trying to be mm -hmm. real concise with it and then just right. like now i'm just like yeah dude you know you right, you right, say right. a question <laughs> i go yep this is how things go you know right like i don't know Which why is totally I the original talking. point right is like yeah we've both sort of talked about how we like i talked about i had nerves and stuff like that before we hit record on the first episode and and then you talked a little bit about it like yeah i guess i did actually have to shake some nerves off a little bit and i think that's what made us level and weirder than like because this is us now right? sure like it, it hasn't taken two years but this is definitely us now and i wonder right it it, it made me think what if we were like we've always been going for just like our normal banter of like cracking jokes in the middle of shit and like trying to help use that to help us remember stuff and all this yeah that's what we've always been going for we did not kick off that way <laughs> it's just right it's like right. Uh, you know we kind of missed a couple field goals yeah yeah for sure there was i i think you nailed it on the head with I can't remember everything, but I can. I definitely know that there was times where it could have been like more jokes, or we could have had more fun. Mm -hmm. And I was just like focused on the goal, like this is the fishing part. Mm -hmm. We don't, mm -hmm. we're not funny here. And it's like, <laughs> why the fuck not? Like no, definitely. Yeah, we should be. <laughs> we should be ourselves all the time. Like, why are we trying to? You know, right? I right. hear the other fishing podcasts out there, and not shitting on them but like no. that's what they do you know right not, exactly we're this, not that, this is what makes us different mm -hmm. yeah yeah yep. yeah for sure a hundred percent that is that is a that's the best way to put it that's the best way to sum up that uh dude one thing that really got me and i was like oh yeah shit i still have those legs um 
you said in episode one you wanted to do like a tackle Tuesday, tackle tip Tuesday or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah. You wanted to make them short. And, dude, you doubled down on short. You were just like, they're going to be short. Definitely want to make them short, concise, get them down. And I was like, oh, shit. TikTok? Reels? Like, yeah, dude. Could you Either get them? Could you get like a tackle tip Tuesday? Could you get a fish and tip Tuesdays down to like TikTok length or even YouTube shorts yeah, now, I guess, right? I think, I think TikTok, I think you can choose the length. Well, I think you so, can go yeah, up to a minute sure. on all the platforms. Like from YouTube shorts, TikTok, and, yeah. and IG reels. I, I think, think I probably can. could. It might take some practice. I tried to make yeah, a reel yeah. one time where I went out in the backyard and I did record one. And then it like was over a minute. And when I tried to load it up, I'm like, damn it. And by the time I like got everything done where I tried to like load it up, it was too late to go back out. Because right. where I was trying to record it where the light was right and stuff. And yeah. then the sun yeah. had set too much. And I was like, nope. Right. But you know that. And I just never did it again. <laughs> but they can be. You can, I don't know what the editing, I don't know what the in, in editing software, like if you're just trying to do it right to TikTok or whatever, but I can show you some editing shit on your phone. But like, do you yeah. really think this is something that we could, that you could do? Like we made this yeah. a goal for 2022 for the real AFTV, like goals for yeah, 2023. Dude. I mean, you think you yeah, could really yeah. get tips down to a minute? I think we could. Yeah. Cause yeah. we could get, we could get tips down to a minute and then we could put it on all platforms. That could be, you know, we don't, yeah. we have TikTok, it exists. Right, but we haven't put shit on it yet. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Maybe it still would... exists. Did they kick us off? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> how active we got to be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but if it still exists and we got the TikTok and we got everything, yeah, I think we could for sure. Because that would be sick stuff, for 2023. Like just thinking about 2023, I think it'd be dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because That's a good call. Yeah, because editing that usually doesn't take too long and in fact i can edit those on my phone which is again something i'll try to pass on to you with as far as like here's yeah, a skill okay. you know <laughs> like yeah there's a for thing sure. that you can do and yeah so yeah because you could have probably instead of trying to shoot it inside of a minute you could have just fucking cropped out you know oh, right. tacked off the end tack the end off a little bit right here in the middle you're like oh if i would have just uh, i said um ah uh, Take out the, you know, half second, and the next thing you sure. know, you're literally at 58 seconds. Right there, man. You know? Yeah, dude. Yep, we could so, do it. Yeah. So I just wanted to to bring that up in the random take part of things because, uh, of course, you can't get away from fishing in the real FTV podcast. It's hard. But right. the reason why I wanted to bring it up is because uh, in this part is because I thought it was funny that you said that and that. It wasn't something that we had acted on when I think it's something we definitely have the skill set to do. Like we have everything in place to do that. Sure. And that short, quick edit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's possible, dude. And I think that you could do it even all on your phone there. Like take two dumps a day, get one edit done. Right. right. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was just it was it was so weird to hear it, you know, almost fifty episodes ago to hear that and go like, oh shit, <laughs> this was before TikTok yeah. was thinking. I don't even think Reels existed yet. No, they definitely Reels didn't even exist yet. Uh, definitely YouTube Shorts didn't exist yet. That shit's still new. Uh, now I'm thinking of like having a a shitty tip Saturday. <laughs> 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 what not to do <laughs> just, or just like or it's just like something that doesn't even help it's just like on the toilet do it while you're on the toilet just holding yeah, your phone in yeah, front of you she, she tip Saturday <laughs> yes. just, just pull it up real quick <laughs> <laughs> hey guys just wanted to let you know that if you're trying to catch walleyes go out there and then use your baits to catch them that will help <laughs> Yeah. She tip Saturday. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just nothing. Yes. It's, just <laughs> it's just something to entertain you on a Saturday morning. That's yeah. it. <laughs> or to or to steal from CKY. Uh 
Guys, shitty tip Saturday real quick. Here's how to skip a jig underneath the dock. First, you want to grab your rod and then just skip it under the dock and reel in the fish. Reel in the fish. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> the switch back side, board side. <laughs> yeah, <SSBS>. right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just ride up, do the trick, ride away clean. Ride away clean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad that we had this conversation on the podcast. It's, it's just that that's that's perfect. Anyways, um, <laughs> not to be not to be a downer because definitely going to bring up more funny shit. But I want to bring this up quick. Beef. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on up at the cabin? Episode one, dude, you were just like, shit's flooded, people's houses are fucked, and they can't oh, yeah. even go home. They're supposed to be home, but they can't go home. Quarantine. Right. It was like, it was pretty bleak there for a hot minute. I was listening to it going, yeah. fuck, man, that was a moment in time. I'm really yep. glad we got it recorded because it was something I think that would got lost because the way you put it, these are people's oh. homes. They live there. They're yeah, supposed to be in them for sure because we're being quarantined to our houses. Like it's the suggested mm-hmm. quarantine to our house. Yeah. And they can't. Right. I was like, yep. oh, fuck, man. Shit sucks. Shit still sucks. Some people have gone in and be able to, been able to prop up some of their cabins and try to like um, build up the foundations underneath them. So like now they're actually raised higher up off the water and stuff. But. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, as far as like the pumping goes, the um, DNR or whoever's in charge, I don't think it's the DNR, whoever's in charge of doing that stuff mm-hmm. is uh, really dragging their feet. And mm. since it happened, there's still at the beginning of the road that my parents live on. It's not like an all the time house, mm-hmm. but there's a cabin that's been like two feet underwater for, so for, for two years, two years now. Yeah, at least two years. Yeah, and they're just not. And there's there's some people on the lake that clearly don't have the same predicament as some of these mm-hmm. other people, mm-hmm. and they're just naive to what's going on. And I see like on the on the Facebook page, they're just like, "Thanks for digging the ditch." Like we didn't have any flooding or whatever, and it's like your yard didn't get wet this year. Like <laughs> don't give them too much credit because the other people have their cabin still underwater. Right. You know, right. and I guarantee you that spot over in the back where that person has that like nice house that was their full time house. Right. Based off of this other cabin, that other one's still underwater. I guarantee it. Fuck. Yeah. Damn, and especially if the rain hit up there that hit us. Yeah. Our basement flooded out of oh, just shit. rain. Like Did not it? not not crazy bad, but like no, there but was, you had wet carpet. There, the bathroom is linoleum, and the mm-hmm. the whole bathroom was flooded to the point where there was water, like getting the carpet wet out here. And I've never had that before. Holy the shit! The whole bathroom was covered in water. We got like seven inches overnight. Yeah, it was crazy heavy there for a minute. Like yeah. we didn't get shit down here, but Randall you guys is were close. Hammered. Randall is closer to the lake where my parents' cabin is, so I don't know if it was that same storm system so i don't know what the lake is like Mm. up there yet Mm -hmm. but randall got like 12 inches like to the point where there was like cars in the street like completely gone you could just see the roof holy shit yeah because i think they have a river there too so when the water comes up fast enough like then you just have like all the water from the river and stuff all the water (laughs) yeah all the water i mean i i laugh at it in like a all the water but I'm right. not laughing at the situation. I've been no, there. No, I know, but that's just how we roll. Like, the, what else are you supposed to do? Exactly. Swim, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and speaking of funny shit, Blue Dew, dude, episode four, <laughs> Blue Dew yeah. was already coming in. That's for anybody who, <laughs> if you're just joining us because you saw the crappy video and you were like, Blue Dew, you're like, weird. Uh, I that's why I had to make the reference in the crappy videos because Blue Dew since episode four of the podcast has been coming up <laughs> at least know, since episode I have a four. Bottle laying around here someplace. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> 
<laughs> as you're you're looking around, you're like, there's got to be an empty blue dude bottle somewhere. Blue dude bottle. <laughs> no, but that the that's the reason why I put that down on the funny shit is because at least since episode four, blue dude has been coming up, and that's the reference in the crappy video. If you just if you go over to YouTube and look us up, you see just a quick little blue dude. <laughs> I, I i yeah, had to do it that. it's just been the like running it. thing it's the one thing that's gonna get it's like hey maybe mountain dew will catch on and send us a case of blue dew <laughs> mm-hmm. so, but that voltage make sure it's voltage okay mountain dew i know you have other blue dews i don't like your other blue dews <laughs> i want voltage it's got oh. ginseng in it, and the ginseng makes me feel nice. <laughs> <laughs> and did we already talk about the hard Mountain Dew besides the time that you tried it on the podcast? I don't think we have. I don't think so. Nope. Because I think just uh, when I tried it, we didn't have a sweet hookup like you. You you were sponsored. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. had a sponsor. <laughs> had a had a sponsor for a single can, right? And <laughs> so my family ended up buying a full whatever the fuck twelve pack or six pack. I think oh they yeah. In 12s. And I oh, the berry one was fucking horrible. But dude, the Baja <laughs> one, they nailed it. Did Just they? like the nice. OG, they nailed the Baja, dude. Nailed. Are those the only ones that you tried? Yes, because I asked about the original. I said, hey, crazy, me and Tim just talked about these, right? I was like, me and Tim were on the yeah. podcast, and he had one, and blah, blah, blah. I told the story. And then they were like, oh, yeah, no, the original's spot on, super great. So then yeah. Barry one, I've never had the fucking Mountain Dew, whatever that, no, never had it. It tastes like shit. <laughs> right. Not a real Mountain Dew flavor. They're just like, oh, no, Barry Mountain Dew, right? Right. And then they were like, yeah, I don't know. There's a couple more in there. There's like this and then that and then the Baja or something. I'm like, the Baja Blast one? They're like, yeah. I was like, holy shit, I got to go try that. And <laughs> yeah, I I ran in and I got the Baja Blast and they fucking crushed it. Like, it's spot Nice. Up. Yeah, it's good. Nice. I just random, since we're talking about Mountain Dew, I just tried Baja Gold the other day because there's a spot where there's a dude that I deliver to um, because I do. So those of you that don't know, I'm a delivery driver and I deliver um, a bunch of stuff. Some of which is lottery, like for the Minnesota state lottery, I deliver like scratch off tickets. Mm -hmm. So the spot that I go, the one guy calls me big money all the time. And then he tells me to go grab some, something to drink. So sometimes I'll walk up and he'll just be like, go grab something to drink, big money. Just like, all right, man, <laughs> you know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. So then, a lot of times when he tells me to go grab something to drink, I just kind of like look around, like I'm not paying for it. What you got? And I see like Baja Gold, like Mountain Dew. I'm like, I'll try it. I ain't paying yeah. for it. Yeah, I tried yeah, the yeah. cut, like the coffee, the Coke with the coffee. Yep. I was like, mm, it was all right. right. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. Right. Same with the Baja Gold. Mm, it's all right. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. Yeah, for but sure. It's like a pineapple. It's like a oh. the Baja with like a pineapple to it. And it's interesting. It's decent. Yeah. When I was drinking it, I was like, I bet you can make a good mixed drink out of this somehow. Yeah. Like some yeah. sort of fucking summertime island drink for sure. Oh, for sure. Yep. Yeah, yep. dude. And the other one that I did pay for that was surprisingly a lot better than I thought it was going to be was the Flaming Hot. No, you tried that one, dude. I did, dude. Yeah, because I was oh like, "Oh my god, I've been okay." Yeah, you got to tell me because that one's been on my curiosity radar for a pretty, minute now, dude. Pretty good, man. I was Get impressed. Out. Yeah, it's like, it's like sweet, and it's it's like it's a like a red Mountain Dew flavor. So it's not like you know, okay. it's kind of like a code red, right? Right. But then it just kind of has like this heat on the back end. Like it's really? weird. It's it, it doesn't. Yeah. It's almost just like they put some like cayenne pepper Whoa. in it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it kind of yeah. it kind of works. No shit. Yeah. It's kind of like it's not the same, but it's kind of like drinking like the red hot candies. Mm. 
You know what I'm talking about? Like oh, where I do, I do because you you take red hots and you put them in vodka. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, that's what that's and what then I was it would thinking spread too. Spread out like, into the vodka. <laughs> yeah, and I've had like the the like the Mexican hot chocolate where yeah. they, you know where it's like spicy hot chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, hate that and, stuff, but I know what you're yeah, talking right. about. Yeah, right. No, it, I get it, it bugs yeah. the fuck out of me. And I had I've had like jalapeno whiskey, and I've had right. Uh, mm-hmm. I had a Mexican chocolate um craft beer before like so oh, yeah, i've had yeah, yeah, all these sure, things with sure. like heat in it so i kind of knew what i was expecting but at the same time i'm like like what does flaming hot taste like when it's right that's Dew, that's what, what know? my thought was too is like what is that flaming hot taste like in liquid form yeah well, and it was well, i was impressed the guys on uh this is important we're not <laughs> the workaholic guys, yeah, the workaholic guys were yeah. all, they shit all over it and they're like oh <laughs> and they were like this is not good and i was like well, i didn't think it was that bad i don't know huh. what your guys' deal is uh, well i might have to i might have to grab one here over the fourth week or it's the fourth now i mean it's the fourth right. i might have to grab one yep. for the fourth of july we'll see <clears throat> oh speaking of fourth yeah. of july you know what i'm saying um, right <laughs> oh dude <laughs> this is funny Episode one, I already sort of mentioned it, but episode one, we we're like, ah, we went, yeah, we went long. How did we talk about fishing for an hour? Oof. Well, if we went long, that's okay. We're just going to keep rolling with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> episode one, we, we yep. were like, whoops. Episode we one, we're like, hey, it's the hour long fishing podcast. It's going to be, uh, you know, half hour about fishing and half hour about random takes. And we're going to, that's how it's going to be. And then. We quickly found out, yeah, me me and Tim are as good at talking as we thought we were. <laughs> <laughs> Not to pat ourselves on the back and say we're as good at talking as we are, but seriously. <laughs> right. Your car sales video, dude. You brought up your car sales video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that, the hell that is. If you want to put I it on social it. media, I just wanted to bring that up and say. We need to. Put that out. We need I to can put find that it. Out there. I definitely have yeah. an archive of it, but. Yeah, it's got to be out there, and and people, people need to see it and understand that why this is... I'm not a car salesman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But also, but also, it is completely and fully encapsulated inside a podcast episode of where we didn't think we were being ourselves yet in retrospect. So it's very funny to be like. The well, I mean that that comment wasn't, but what I'm saying is like it's it it's all full circle of looking back at the podcast and saying like, hey, it took us a little while to to find our we were a little mellow at first and whatever, and like we've come to our own, and yeah, just to just to prove that, here's the person I used to be, <laughs> like, like sure. that that was it, and that is it, and it's just like yeah. <laughs> I want to get that out there, dude. If you're willing to really put it up, we oh, should yeah. put it up on real, on yeah. really FTV stuff. Just to I want, be like, I want, hey, yeah, <laughs> look, this I is me as both professional, right? <laughs> yeah, I want people to see it. At first, I was kind of like, I don't want to put it out there because we didn't have anything else out there. Like, I'm, I was like, mm. I don't mm-hmm. want this to be the only thing. I don't want people to pull this up and just be like, what is this? Right, right. You know. Yeah. But yes, like, no, I on real AF TV and it looks like a fishing channel. It's like, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> yep. I want to, I want to definitely have people see that. Okay. And, we'll have to look for it then again. It's just funny. No, that that's like just the person I was as a car salesman. I was never trying to like trick anybody into buying anything. I, I was definitely more of just a helpful dude that wanted to help you buy a car. Right. And not, and I was just making videos and doing stuff out there. And I still remember, since we're talking about it right now, of one time, like, you know, it's not like cold calling or whatever, but mm. they have like past customers and you're supposed to oh. check up with them and see how they're doing because sure. their past salesperson doesn't work there anymore. So now oh, you're, okay. you're like, hey, right. And that's the reason why I wanted to make these kind of videos mm-hmm. to just be like, hey, just wanted to let you know. Your old sales guy doesn't work here anymore, but I'm here and I mm-hmm. want you to know what I look like and kind of get a feel for everything. 
Right. And I tried making that video like a bunch of times and I wasn't super familiar with editing and stuff. So I'm trying to get everything in one take and I screwed up and eventually I'm just like yelling at the camera and stuff and just having fun with it. Just like letting off some steam, like try to maybe not be so damn serious or whatever. But there was one time where I had some of the other people are just being like, you actually sent that? And I said, yeah, like, what the fuck are they going to do? We're all adults here. Like, what, <laughs> did I offend somebody? It was it was some lady that I checked up with, and she's like, oh, I actually moved to Atlanta. And I said, ah, oh, yes, the land where the players play, and they ride on them things like every day. <laughs> Big beats, hit streets, see gangsters roaming, and parties don't stop till 8 in the morning. I am familiar. And I said, enjoy Atlanta or whatever. And I sent out that email and they're just like, you sent that? And I'm just like, yeah. Like, what's she going to do? Right. Get mad that I quoted lines from a ludicrous song? Right, right. If she doesn't like it, who cares? She who lives cares? in Atlanta. She lives in Atlanta. I'm not getting the fucking sale. <laughs> I'm just having some fun here. I'm just being like, right. all right, enjoy Atlanta. Here's like their most famous song. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh, god, man. that's hilarious. But yeah, <laughs> like what's the loss? Like you're just so yeah. showing who you are, which is just why the random take exists in the podcast. Like yeah. <laughs> because we do try to stay focused and 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 really talk about fishing and stuff like that and then just cut loose and be from the land of where players play in volleyball, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They ride on the things like yeah. every day. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. <laughs> um, did you come up with this, Tim? I know this is a hard this is a hard pivot, but no guarantees in fishing. Did you make that up? Have you ever heard that? Is that somebody else's line? Because that's going to be real AFTV's line. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. You said I... that. You basically said that in our first yeah. anniversary. I, dude. I don't know if anybody said that line exactly. I know that like the one that everybody always says is like, you don't always catch fish. If it was called, if you caught fish every time, it'd be called catching, not fishing. Yep. So, dude, I don't know. I don't know. That could have been an original. I'm it's sure a com- somebody it's like, said It's got to be a combo there. of things, but like no guarantees in fishing. Like, yeah. Yeah. That might have been that might have been an original. No guarantees in fishing. Because I just wanted to put it. I just wanted to put it on wax and just be like, "There it is, fucking really FTV. Mm-hmm. We can put it on t-shirts." Yeah, well, well. Oh, I should stop. I should oh. <laughs> <laughs> the new body of water thing that I brought up in the first part. Yeah. As we wrapped up. Yeah. I'm going to bring it up here again okay. because it can, because it, it's, it's part, what we did with our live stream last time. That's what I'm trying to say. What we did at our live stream was sort of the dichotomy of the podcast, right? It was the video games yeah. and the fishing at the same time. And that's sort of like the thing. And yeah. do you think we could live stream a new body of water and like a new video game or like a new body of water and an old video game or like you a new body of water and me watching it from home or something like that. Um, um, a new is the new is the live streaming a new body of water and then finding the counterpart a good idea. I think so. I think we just have to make it more of an urban lake to be safe so yeah. that we know yeah. that there's cell service. Right. Okay. That's the only thing, like sure, straight sure. off the bat, that I can see would because be the of problem. The live but mm-hmm. I'd be cool. Yeah, because we want to make sure we're, we're someplace that we know is going to get service. Because even yep, yep, yep. like Shamina, the one that we did it on, I had service in the spot of the lake that I was fishing. I knew I had service there. Right. But I knew Which there you knew were ahead of time. You had scouted it and shit like that. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. hitting a new body of water would be possible i think as long as we hit something that's like close to a well populated area so we know uh-huh. we're going to get service so you knew that you had well, good yeah and the reason why i bring it up on the podcast and not in like a back channel you know promotion or production 
like right. channel conversation. Right. Yep. Yep. Is I want to hear from the people really f dot tv slash contact. Oh yeah. DM us whatever you want to do. Hit us up because I want to hear that right now. This sort of organic idea that we just had, real quick. Is that something that is interesting to you? Uh, live streaming takes a lot of work, obviously. <laughs> like the scouting it to make sure it has fucking cell service and stuff like that. Like it takes a lot of work. Right. And so that's that's why I brought it up during the podcast is just to say like, hey, hit us up. Hit us up for reals. Uh, we, we we check all the emails. We check our DMs and all that shit. They're open. Uh, that's right. That's also, right. That's one right. year ago, we did yeah. not officially have live videos yet. We did not have the video up. It was still behind the patreon.com slash real TV wall because oh. we were in beta. We were still working out all the kinks. Working out the kinks. We still haven't figured them out. And we still haven't figured them out. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there might be some weird cuts in this one because we have experienced some technical difficulties. But right, but it's not our fault. Internet in just case. sucks mm -hmm. shit sometimes. Right, right. And, and back then we were still sort of working out the technical difficulties, sort of the layout. I had to figure it all out. And we really hammered home in, in the first, in episode 25 there, our, our first year anniversary of the, like, man, we're so proud of never missing a Monday. And we still have it. We right. still have it on well, the podcast feed. Right. I went through that. So there was a spell there where I was trying to render us out in 4K. Yeah. In my computer, I need a different graphics card. But Bitcoin's crashing now. You know, all these cryptos are crashing like crazy. So maybe GPUs will become affordable again. Maybe somebody wants to sell a fucking GPU for an affordable price. Hey, hit us up. Real FTV slash contact. Real F.TV slash contact. Hit us up. I want your cheap GPU that can do 4K. Okay. Um, so I missed a couple video podcasts. And that's sure. that's sort of the thing here is like, hey, I apologize for missing like uh, this is my official apology on I've I said it on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. I always put all my apologies and like technical difficulties and stuff like that um, because I've had multiple different things. And this is probably this is more behind the scenes stuff that I'm just not going to get into. But the point here is like we still haven't missed a Monday, dude. It's been two years. Every other Monday for two years hits the podcast oh, yeah. feed every time. We're not going to fuck it up here on the 4th of July of 2022. It's not going to happen. Nope. Because you're listening to us right now on the 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. <laughs> <laughs> and before we get back into the, the hot beverages, I have yeah. to bring this up. We talked about the RE2 remake in our random take. Because we did yeah. a normal episode of our one year That's anniversary. Right. This one, obviously, we're getting mixy. That's right. We talked about the RE2 remake. Did I ever tell you there's an RE4 remake now? No. They're doing it. Damn, dude. I know. Oh, uh, I have to play video games again. <laughs> I had to tell I you to, about the RE4 remake. Out. I can't believe I, I didn't tell to. you before. Dude, I have to figure out how to play. I have to figure out how to get something set up. And hidden away from my son because he cannot watch that one. That is too scary. Right. That right. one. That one's a good one. That one creeps you out, man. Yeah. Those. So I still remember the things. I'm Naughty dog with the. I can speak whatever language that is. I can say creepy things, in like Spanish or so, I don't know what language that is. I can right. say the creepy things that the bad guys say when they walk around because they just keep <laughs> saying stuff like that. Right. Naughty right. dog with the. Naughty dog with the. I don't know what it means. Right. Just saying creepy you, stuff. You just know it's creepy shit. <laughs> <laughs>